Hi, this is Dr. Nuru's working hard in the lab, trying to come up with good videos for you to help you review and to help you learn new techniques. What I'm going to do here is build a still. Okay, it's basic build, still building 101. Okay, and I want to make sure you know how to properly build a still when you leave your courses here at Bryn Mawr College. I have all the pieces for a still. The first component of a still, well, first of all, a still has to be built in the hood. This is an operating hood because you can see this hood is on because the velocity oops, is, is high and that's indicated by a green light. The best position for the hood when you're setting up is this position. You can bring the hood door down lower when you're actually doing chemistry. Okay, so I'm going to build a still. The first thing you need to build a still is a platform. You should put the platform at the bottom of the monkey bar. Notice, I'm building the still in the corner. If you are working over here, you should build in this corner and build this way. And if you're working in this corner, you should build the still here and work this way. In other words, the still should be mirror, image, mirror images of each other, or they should be enantiomers. That's a good term for you, enantiomers. Okay. Next, a heater. Okay. The heater goes on top of the platform. And what you want to do is sneak the plug or the cord underneath the lip of the hood. This will give you a lot more room. And plug it into the step control. The step control is down here. So notice there's a round plug next to this voltage control. And then there are normal 120 volt sockets. When you do this, because this heater does not have a control on it like you would have on your stove. You know how you have controls on your stove. There's no control for the voltage here. It has to be put into a step control, this controlling the voltage. If you plugged it into this 120 volt socket, you get 120 volts going into that and you'd have no control over the heat. Okay? Next in the apparatus, next thing you want to do, and I'm really showing you proper still building, okay, is you take the round bottom that you're going to distill from, you put one, I just put like 300, you put one or two boiling stones in the bottom. I actually have about 10 in there, okay? It's more than you need. And clamp that round bottom to the monkey bar. Now the reason I'm showing this is students kind of fall in love with these little clips over the course of a year and they start to think the whole still can be held together with these plastic clips. They are really weak and they break really easily. You have to have a clamp on the bottom of your apparatus. You must. So I'm going to show you exactly where to put clamps, exactly where to put clips. All right, now this is my liquid that I want to distill. It's usually a good idea to put the liquid in as you're building the still rather than putting it in at the end, after you've built the whole thing, okay? Um, this is going to be a fractional distillation, so I'm going to use a column. Um, it is important to grease your joints, and I'm just going to run and get some grease, because I forgot the grease. This is like you working in the lab, right? You're looking around for things. This is vacuum grease. A lot of people during the year weren't using grease, so I'm going to show you how to grease it up. I'm trying to find things. Okay, this is a distilling column. Okay, if you want to grease a joint, all you have to do is put a little tiny bit of grease on the joint you're inserting and place it inside the round bottom and spin it around a little bit. And when you do that, it'll grease up and it'll seal the joint. Now, grease is not glue, grease is just grease. Okay, so it won't hold it together. What you need is another clamp. So I'm going to put another clamp right here. Okay, and you want all your joints to be flush. 
okay? Then, I'm going to put a still head on. Again, I'm putting a new joint in, so I have to put a little grease on it. I just put a little tiny bit of grease on that. Then I put it in the joint, and I twirl it around so that it gets all spread out and, and seals the joint. It keeps the vapor from coming out of the joint, okay? Next thing, I move into the condenser. Same deal. Got to put a little grease on this joint, not much. You could put a little on your glove or a little on a paper towel. I'm an advocate of using a clamp at this point. I hang the clamp off the top monkey bar, like this, okay? I'm going to hang it the other way, actually, and create an angle with it. Pushing this up a bit. And then again, twirl it around so it gets greased up. I think one of the things we did not do was grease joints in the fall. Now, if you like, at this juncture, you can use a couple of clips to tighten things up. The thin part of the clip goes on the thin part of the glass, the top. The thick part goes on the bottom. A lot of times people put them on upside down. These clips are just a little insurance policy to hold things together. That's all. They are not the critical parts of the apparatus. Next piece, curved adapter. Grease it. Again, same way, spin it around. Okay, I'm going to clip this one on. Okay, this is a light piece and it really could be held on with a clip. Sometimes people use rubber bands to hold these on, which is fine, but I'm going to use clips here. Usually in the second semester, people use clips. Now, always a point of great controversy, okay? The thermometer has to be placed so that the bulb is just below the sidearm, the way I'm holding it right now, okay? For safety's sake, when you put a thermometer into the adapter that holds it, put it at a point close to insertion, you might even put a little grease on this. It's not a bad idea. Grease it up. If you grease it, it'll slide through better. Push it through gently to the position you want it at. Do not ever hold a thermometer at the end and push it because if you do it'll snap and if it snaps it's going to hit your other hand and we've had, we've had injuries, very bad injuries. I've seen people get injured doing that. So what you do is you hold it close to the, put some grease on it, hold it close to the point of insertion and it'll slide right in. Then when you put it in the apparatus you want to have it just below the sidearm. So the bulb itself is just below the sidearm, okay? All right, now, then typically when you guys collect, you collect your, all right, you collect your uh, materials in a graduated cylinder, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to put that up. And the only things I have left to do are to, ready, are to put some tubing on, mm -hmm. okay? And I will do that in the next film, because we're running a little short on time. So in the next little film, I'm going to put tubing on, and I'm going to just show you how to set up the rest of the apparatus. Okay, see you in lab.